Missouri State Representative Mike Moon has gone on record with some pretty controversial beliefs in the past, including that he believes paid family leave is the first step to Marxism, and also that refugees ought to be placed in internment camps in the United States, but yet that is not why he is making the news. These days, he's making the news because of a controversial video he posted to his Facebook page with regards to uh, abortion. We're gonna play the video for you, but I should warn you that it uh, involves a chicken and it's unpleasant to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. When the governor called for the second special session this year, uh, I was right in the middle of my summer job. But like any good career politician, when I get the call, I'm going back to work. God gave man dominion over life. He allows us to raise animals properly and um, care for them, and then process them for food so we can sustain life. And that's what I'm doing here with this chicken. So we've been called back for this special session for the primary purpose of supporting life, protecting the unborn specifically. And uh, I think we need to get to the heart of the matter here. So today, I'm filing a bill that will lead to the stopping of abortion in the state of Missouri, and I hope you'll support it. So stay tuned for more details. Uh, okay. Wow, um, so Allison Drath, who's the executive director of NARAL, which is a pro-choice uh, Missouri organization, said, quote, whatever Mike Moon does with a chicken in the privacy of his home is his own business, but we will not let him use the rights of women across Missouri as some kind of political prop. His call to ban abortion is disturbing and dangerous, no matter what he does with that chicken. And for those of you unfamiliar with exactly what the state laws in Missouri are with regards to abortion, uh, here they are. In Missouri, those seeking abortion care must already receive state directed counseling that includes information designed to discourage them from having an abortion and undergo a 72 hour waiting period after having this counseling before they may have the procedure. State law also bans abortions after the point of viability and state lawmakers are attempting to pass a bill that would ban all abortion after 20 weeks gestation. There is only one place in the entire state, the Planned Parenthood Health Center in St. Louis that meets the state standards as a result of restrictive trap laws to perform abortion care. Um, okay, so he is making the rounds on social media. A lot of people have thoughts on this, uh, both pro and against. Do you think that he proved his point, Amir? Wherever you stand on abortion, did this did this video make a point to you where you get it? A chicken, abortion correlates dead chicken, dead baby, got it. No, not, not, no? not okay. the slightest Explain bit. Explain yourself. Uh, the, the, the whole chicken thing just detracts from any point he was trying to make. And it actually makes him look kind of like an insane person. And it's like, would I, do I really wanna align myself with that? No, I don't think so. And like, look, the whole chicken thing doesn't even really bother me. That's, that's how you kill a chicken and process it to mm -hmm. eat. But like, why, why are you trying to equate the two? I don't, I don't get it. That's where it doesn't line up yeah. for me. Because we're talking about, I, I am pro-choice. <laughs> I think it's really important to let a, a woman choose what she wants to do with her own body. Um, that said, I think that there is an argument for people who are pro-life and I wanna respect those arguments. But I don't think that equating the life of, of the unborn to a chicken in your backyard um, is helpful. The best move. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't understand the point that he was trying to make. I think that there, I, I've heard very strong arguments for the pro-life movement. I don't think that we should throw out an entire perspective on this. That said, that's not a good way to prove your point. I don't, I'm confused what we should protect. So he says, man has dominion. God gave man dominion over all the earth, all the creatures to, for life and for death. But then he's, so he, it was his choice to kill that chicken. So is he now pro-choice? You know what I mean? Like yeah. we're supposed to take care of things to create new no, life. I, and I by would, doing that, by taking care of things, I'm about to kill this chicken. You'd I don't probably argue that that chicken is, is on this earth to, to feed us and give sustenance to us. Okay. So he's not so making that we a choice. Can create babies. He's not making. <laughs> what? I don't know. I was hoping so you, you could translate for me. So you eat chickens and then you get ready to have a baby. 
It's that's how it works, right? Also, a chicken is a very is a. I mean, this is ripe for metaphors because chickens lay eggs, and the whole conversation is what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Clearly, it all comes down to that question: <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg came first every time. Okay, sure. I think it was the chicken. There in once the form was of a not a chicken, and then whatever came before laid an egg, and there was a chicken. And you know, I think we're proving the point right now that Mike Moon did not make a good argument no. because now we're totally off topic talking about the chicken or the egg. But that I think is a great place to leave it for you guys the in the comment first. section below. Was it the chicken or the egg? I think it was a chicken in the form of a raptor dinosaur hybrid. He that wasn't was a chicken. Egg. Listen to me. <laughs> it laid an egg one day and it wasn't a chicken. Okay. And that's how evolution works. What do you think about uh, Mike Moon? Do you think he proved his point? Can you translate what he's trying to mean in this Facebook video in the comment section below? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And Amir and I will see you next time on Pop Trigger. It was the chicken.